bitch on, we got bulletproof glass now. Bitch, I turned off, I feel like I want a Grammy. I'm speaking Guapanese, I know he can't understand. Hey, what's your boy Tommy coming to you with another Bullet Echo video, and today we're gonna be playing as the Doc. As always, in the comment section down below, let me know what hero you want me to play as next. At the end of every single video, I will always go through the comment section and pick the most highly voted hero to play as in the next video. I'm trying to get my way all the way across every single hero in the game, so by the end of it, I can make a tier list so we can always see. Who are the best and worst heroes in the game overall but without further ado let's hop right into doc stats and abilities before we hop into a few games with him off rip you guys can see the doc has an assault rifle but the thing is his ar is very unique compared to other ars in the game most ar heroes usually have somewhere between 10 and 30 bullets per round but the doc actually has 70 so his gun is almost like an ar lmg hybrid it's got really good range and a lot of bullets per clip making him a strong hero to be dealing with close to mid range he's got a power level of 955 for my specific hero i have him at ultimate i've got 1090 health and 924 armor and he does 134 damage with his gun now moving on to his abilities his grenade launcher for him i have everything at level one but at level 15 on ability activation the hero launches a rocket that explodes upon collision dealing damage within a range of 276 so the reason why you want to upgrade his grenade launcher abilities is it gives it increases the range and you also start to slow down a lot less as you start to upgrade your your grenade launcher fairly straightforward ability you can also do a lot of damage if two players are next to each other you can do that splash damage really really strong overall number two he's got the team healing on ability activation the hero is slowed down by 50 percent for seven seconds then it restores 67 health per second two allies within a range of 400 over seven seconds and minus 50 percent to incoming damage four allies within a range of 400 this ability is very good because as always you want to have heroes in the game that can heal themselves these are the stronger heroes overall just because even after they take damage in a fight they can scurry away and pop their health back. On top of getting his health back, he also reduces that incoming damage, meaning that even though you're a little bit weaker, you're taking less damage, which allows you a better opportunity to turn the fight around. Moving on to his third ability, all of his passives. Battle Scarred is honestly a very strong one. At level 15, the passives, he gets plus 20% to hero's maximum health, plus 20% to hero's primary weapon damage, and plus 20% to hero's maximum armor. So overall, just beefing the hero entirely. And on hero taking damage, he gets minus 60% to primary weapon fire spread and plus 60 to primary weapon firing range. What this means is it allows you in a sense, like you can combine this with your healing ability, right? If you take a lot of damage in a fight, you want to pop his mech hit and start backing off. But as you back off, obviously the opponent's going to try to close the distance. But since they've done that damage to you, you're now also getting increased primary weapon firing range and reduced spread so as you're falling back you're out of the enemy's range but you can still hit them with all of these increased buffs battle scarred really really good passage and then finally he has combat readiness on hero taking damage plus 35 percent to primary weapon damage for allies within a range of 400 and minus 80 percent to reloading speed for allies within a range of 400 once again combos really well his ar already has some really good range but taking damage is sort of this guy's bread and butter it just buffs him so much more and the closer he is to death the better he is overall as a hero so honestly very very strong you want to get those abilities upgraded if you do want to play as the doc highly recommend it right here we're going to look at what the what gears i have for him i have the protective glasses which gives him plus 40 to the hero's vision range because although he does have really really good range for his gun i feel like his vision range is a little bit constricted so increasing that and allowing yourself to see more of the map so you can utilize that long vision range of the gun is the reason why i use the protective glasses for the armor here i've got the regular body armor giving him that plus six percent to hero's maximum armor always good to have more armor especially with a hero like him once again ar lmg hybrid type deal i've got the regular shoulder pad plus two percent to primary weapon damage against enemy armor tear into them do more damage and even if you're closer to death you're still doing more damage just really overall a wombo combo and then finally of course i've got the tech knee pads at the mythic level plus eight percent to heroes primary weapon fire rate if your gun's shooting faster it's doing more damage he already has 70 rounds per clip so it's not like you're gonna be worried about running out of ammo you're just gonna keep doing that high high damage across the board either way guys those are his abilities and his stats so what we're gonna do now is hop into a game here with doc or hop into three games here with doc so i can show you guys exactly how i play him 
into the very first game here with the dock. We're not going to find anything off rip. Not good at all. We will finally find a little stack of ammunition. Get our gun going. But we need to find armor here ASAP. I'm actually going to go ahead and play this angle. Mr. Bastion. Yes, bro. Love taking down a Bastion early in the game. Don't give him time to find that, uh, what do you call it? To find his armor and get his ability up. Because when he gets both of those things going, it's kind of tough to beat him endgame no matter who you're playing as. Like, literally all you have to do is wait till the circle gets small and pop your shield. And there's nothing that can be done to stop it. But able to take him down there nonetheless. We do need to find armor still. Oh, Lord. Push me, bro. I'm holding this right hand. Holding this right hand, baby. Alright. There's the armor. Okay, we are in a decent position to win this game. Decent, decent, decent. Alright, a little, uh... How's he still oh my goodness. I forgot how annoying that hero is. Forgot he can pretty much shoot over the wall. <laughs> I was trying to like link onto that right hand peak. Did not go as planned. Alright, let's go ahead and get this uh scope. We've got the extended aim, so wanna make sure you use that here. Push up. Finish off the kill, baby. Picking up the very first win there with the dock. So I almost threw that in the middle of that fight. You got to know who your opponents are, right? We ran into the Mythic LMG, and I was trying to finesse and go back to the right-hand peak, which isn't a bad play, right? Because when you're standing behind the peak, it's harder for your opponent to hit you, but your gun gets to see all of them. You can still land a whole bunch of shots. But because I didn't realize that he was able to shoot over the walls, we took so much damage. Nonetheless, able to rotate away, utilize the long range of the assault rifle, with the dock and able to pick up the very first win. Let's hop right into the next game. Into game number two here with the dock. We did find a recharge off start, but because there was no ammo, I sort of just want to skip by it. Finding that ammo is way more important than having a grenade launcher ready to go. Does not matter if you don't have our primary weapon. We'll find a little bit of, our, uh, of ammo right here. All right. There's a whole bunch of ammo now. Get a four grip. Scoop the ammo. And we are in business. Let's see what we can find. Armor enhancer. Let's go. Two LMG heroes lining themselves up here for us. Let's go, baby. Taking them both down. Any LMG hero down during the game is always good. Because by the very end of the game, you don't want to be going up against Mr. LMG, right? And I feel like someone's going to rotate in because we just fought there. So I might abuse the right hand. Hold it here for a little bit. Let's position ourselves for... Oh, we kind of need that. Explosive rounds. Armor enhancer or ammo enhancer would have been decent there, but. Beamed him down, playing the right hand peak. Luckily, the Bastion did not have his shield ability. Because if he had his shield ability there, we we're going to have to sort of work the corners a little bit more. You know what I'm saying? So, whenever you know, in general, you want to play corners anyways, but if you know there's a Bastion left, Try not to let the circle get too small, because otherwise, I mean, 50-50, you're just going to die on site. There's not much you can do about it. Either way, though, let's hop into the third and final game here with the dock. Into the third and final game, we are going to find absolutely nothing here at the start. Not good at all. I think that was a, uh... Okay, we'll get some ammo. We'll get an enhanced magazine. And we'll take down a ghost at the very start of the game. 
That was terrifying. He came from that direction. So let's go ahead and push this way. See if we can find some more loot. Armor enhancer and armor. Let's get the armor first just in case. And we saw all those bullets. But he could have been so much further out. Mr. I can shoot over every single wall. and Alright. Sounded like it was so close. I think I might just play the zone here because we have the game ends right here, right? I don't know how I want to play this. Hmm. Okay, they're actually in a fight. Two people left. The shots came from this direction, so I might set up shop right here. Oh, what are the odds he doesn't come through this direction, huh? Pretty good, it looks like. Oh, we are behind the ghost, so he came around and wrapped through that direction. Unable to stop us though, able to end up on his six. Really good stuff there, able to pick up another win with the dock. So that's gonna do it for today's video for the dock gameplay. Honestly, I have all of his abilities at level one. So if I buffed up those abilities, we would have shredded through those lobbies even easier, especially his battle scarred passive, which is just so good and buffs the hero overall. But either way, I suggest if you do want to play as an AR hero, Give the doc a shot. I think he's actually very, very good. Either way, though, hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and I hope you go on and enjoy the rest of your day.